The first step in the project is really very simple. You select a missing soldier to work on. Now you may already know of a missing soldier that you would like to include in the memorial, but if not, you can choose one from our list of over 526,000 individuals, and you can search for them by surname, by regiment, or by the soldier's identification number. So if we click on by surname uh, and put in the name Gleason, let's see how many missing soldiers from World War I were called Gleason. We click on submit, and it brings up this list of names. And you can see that there are quite a few Gleasons that were killed in World War I. Let's choose one with a relatively unusual name, Brinley, and highlight the entire row by simply dragging uh, across and uh, copying the entire row, and then clicking on uh, the message at the top to select the soldier ID and fill in the contact form. So we'll put everything that we've copied into the comment section, and then we'll highlight the actual uh, number, the soldier ID number, and paste it into uh, the soldier ID box. And then we simply fill in uh, the name and address of uh, uh, yourself. And we paste that in there. And then in the uh, email section, we'll place this one here. So there we go. That's all pasted. Then we simply click on the submit button at the end that entire thing gets submitted and this is what you get back. So uh, that is uh, the soldier that we've decided to work on submitted to the database.